Hello folks, my name is Mike Cannon, part of the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Group. And today we're going to do a short video on how to gracefully shut down a system platform server. So why a graceful shutdown of an application server? Well, all applications are built on a number of processes. And it's very important to the application that those processes shut down and come up in a particular orderly fashion. So for example, Communication Manager. If it has messaging, so Communication Manager Messaging or IA770, messaging would be the first process to shut down. Then Communication Manager, and then there's an MCD, then a file sync, and a number of others with the last one shutting down being the watchdog. And when it starts up, it's just the opposite. So it's important that it shuts down in that order. Virtualization and RAID caching just increase the desire for a graceful shutdown. Virtualization because you have a number of applications or virtual machines, right, that are being managed by virtualization software. In our case, the system platform software, Domain Zero. It manages the integration between the server, physical server, and the virtual machines or applications. It's very important that those virtual machines shut down prior to the DOM Zero in the server. RAID controllers that support write back cache will cache information before writing it to the hard drives. If for some reason you have an unplanned shutdown, there's a possibility you may lose that information. Any ungraceful shutdown of an application server may result in software corruption. So that's really what this is all about. This is the PSN 2987 that details a graceful shutdown on system platform. The key in it is that it's stating is that you need a UPS anytime you have an application server. And that UPS needs to have enough holdover time for it to complete the graceful shutdown, right? To complete the writing the cache to the particular hard drives. The PSN can be found at support.ofi.com. Under products, you want to choose system platform. It'll be under release 6.0. The PSN will be under documents. And again, it's PSN 2987. Now we need to log into CDOM. So I'm going to HTTP the CDOM's IP address forward slash web console. I'm going to select continue to this website. I'm going to use the admin user ID and I'm entering the admin password and selecting log on. This brings me to the main system platform splash page and I can see that I have mid-size enterprise template loaded because you can see all the number of virtual machines and the applications associated with those virtual machines. Remember each of those applications has built on a number of processes that will shut down in an orderly fashion. So to do that, we move to the left-hand pane and we select server management. We scroll down to server reboot shutdown and it comes up with two options. I can either reboot or shut down the server. We have a maintenance window. We have to perform some maintenance activity. So we want to do a graceful shutdown of the server. So I select shut down server and it says this will shut down all virtual machines and the server will be powered down. Are you sure? And I'm going to select OK. And at that point, it tells you server is being shut down and powered down. Note, it may take a few minutes. And again, the more virtual machines, the longer it will take. At this point, we successfully powered down the server. Now we're going to move back to the CLI DOM0. Earlier, I had logged in the system platform as root domain zero and typed an XM list. And you can see all the virtual machines and the IDs associated with that. It'll follow those IDs starting with 1 through 8 and then go back to 0 for domain 0. You see the CDOM message from root June 5th at 540 24 seconds. System is going down for system halt now. I type in date and now it's 541 and 16 seconds and the shutdown process hasn't quite started yet. So I go back and I type date again and I'm typing XM list. It's now 542, almost 543 and you can see my first process AES shut down. So again, it's the beginning of an orderly process shutdown fashion, right? Again, date again, XM list again, and CM was next. So again, an orderly fashion in the order we talked about. Again, date, XM list, and I can see UDOM. Now at this point, the last one and DOM0, they may both fall at the same time. So you can see I type date and XM list and unable to connect Connection refused, server unexpectedly closed, network connection, basically it shut down. So this happened first, then about 20 seconds later, I heard the server shut down. So again, just a process on how you gracefully shut down the server so you get an idea of what happens. 
Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avi.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Again, thanks for choosing Avaya.